John has Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples. It's not just Mary Magdalene going back, it's all of them. Luke and returned from the sepulcher because connected with that is verse 8. They remembered his words. Mark 16, 8. And they went out quickly and fled from the sepulcher. For they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. They went out quickly. And Matthew has something similar. It's earlier before they meet Jesus, but I think I'm going to combine it now. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy, and did run to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, any of those words that I can combine I will, because they already met Jesus. So, and they departed. Mark, and they went and returned. John came and told. So came is the final part. Returned is pretty close to that. Went out quickly and departed are more closely related. And I remember I had something similar with Peter. Peter therefore arose and went forth and that other disciple and ran to the sepulcher arose and went. So I think I should have departed now since I didn't use it earlier. So it just went out quickly. And they departed quickly. I'm going to use departed now instead of went out. And they is Matthew Mark. And from Luke. And is all three. Matthew Mark Luke. They is Matthew, Mark. Matthew departed. Quickly is in Matthew and Mark. Mark has in fled from the sepulcher, so I'll go with that. From the sepulcher, that's all three, not in John. Matthew... with fear and great joy. Mark For they trembled and were amazed. I guess I can combine trembling with fear and amazed with great joy. with fear and were amazed. Okay, I have to have with amazed with great joy, so I could take that from with fear. Like I say, they trembled for fear. For from the beginning of the sentence in Mark. For they trembled. Fled from the simple car and trembled. Matthew has afterwards and did run to the disciples. Mark has here, which I already used, and fled. I think run is actually better because fled means fleeing from a pursuer or in fear of an attack or, or some imminent danger, but that's not what just happened. I think run is better. Okay, I'm just going to go depart it quickly from. Trembled for fear, and trembled for from Mark. Matthew has fear, and were amazed. This and is both Matthew and Mark. Matthew with 
great joy. Now it says, and did run to bring his word. But I have to have from Mark, neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. I think I should have that first before it says they did run to bring his disciples' word. Because it already said they departed. Trembling for fear. So as they're traveling should be the fact that they're not saying anything. And then I'll end with... They ran to bring his disciples' word. They are going to tell the disciples, but the not speaking is on the way. So I'm going to have that now. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. Matthew has, and did run to bring his disciples' word. Neither said anything to any man if they were afraid. I think I'm going to finish with Luke. And returned and told all these things to the eleven. That's the best explanation that they did actually tell someone. I think I'm going to have run added to departed. They departed and did quickly run from the sepulchre. That would be less repetition than having it later. So before quickly and did quickly I'll put run. Run from the sepulchre. And they departed and did quickly run from the sepulchre. I think I want to redo my choice between departed and went. Because in Matthew, they departed quickly from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. Then, and as they went, so I can't use that word anywhere else because I used departed. But Mark has the one word went. Matthew has departed and went later. Mark only has went. Because of that, I'm going to use went out. Went is both Matthew and Mark. Out, that's Mark. 